Hey guys, welcome back for another video, and we are doing some unspoken today. Believe it or not, I have not really played this game that much. It's not because I don't like it, it's because when I first kind of came out, uh, the uh, physics in here wasn't as well as it was uh, compared to now, after, after a couple updates. And plus, I keep noticing my hand, especially my right hand, keep slipping back and forth like this, and while my left side is fine. Um, it could have been to the, due to the software side because I don't notice that as much playing other different games. Um, and that's when I had two sensors tracking me, one in front and one in the back. So it's on a 360 room, uh, room scale tracking kind of. And that's when I noticed some of the problem. But uh, after a couple updates, I, it's gotten better. Um, right now, I'm only using two sensors. I have three sensors set up. I'm using just like front and the back opposite corner set up. And I just want to see how well can we play this, uh, and you know if there's any, uh, if we're gonna run into any hiccups where you know the, my hand will start doing that. Right now, it's not doing anything. Right now, it seems solid. Actually, I'm very impressed with that. So they either they they fix the so uh, some sort of software issues or um uh, or the one thing is sometimes it does become a problem once a um. You play the game some people would say you play for a little bit and you will have some uh, issues so we're just gonna go and play a little bit we're just gonna do some practice I'm actually terrible at this game because I haven't really played it at all so we're just gonna do some practice I am very impressed actually I should not do that because I'm hitting my uh, um, my guardian so let's see so like blah 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 pra practice Oops, I didn't mean to go here. Jackson, let's go there and see. So we're gonna play for a little bit, and uh, we're gonna see if there's any problem with the uh, tracking, which is two cents, or is it all fixed and all patched up? So right now, I would say it's pretty good, much better than what it was before. So we're just gonna do some practice with Lenar. I mean, literally he's a computer, but he kicks my butt many times and you know because I suck but uh, yeah let's do this sometime I don't even remember the uh, controls kind of remember oh, okay oh dang it I didn't mean to pick up Okay. Yeah, this game gets a little bit. All right. Uh. Come on, dude. Oops. <sighs> I'm terrible at this. I'm telling you. I don't like this metal button right here. That way, you when you release the metal button is when you can actually throw your arrow. But instead of I wish they let you um, use the trigger when you release the trigger, it let you throw instead. But uh, we'll do what we got. Okay, guys. I don't know if you noticed. So when we start playing the game a little bit, I notice my right hand is starting to slide away from me. So, um, so we just finished uh, the three matches on the tutorial, and you can see the hand is kind of shaking. I'm not moving my hand right now, and you can see my right is moving a lot more. My left is starting to slide a little bit too. We're gonna continue try this for a little bit, and I'll get back to you guys when we notice more of those tracking issues. So you guys can see I'm playing games right now and my hand look at this it's moving back and forth flying back and forth I'm not I'm not moving my hand I swear my left one it's okay my right one I start doing it
All right, so as you can see, my hands start doing it again, right here, right here. See, every time I do this, it gets really annoying. So it doesn't like it when my control is facing. Uh, um, I turn my hand palm basically face up. Face down is a whole lot better. Yeah, see, my, my hammer is not correlating with my uh, hand either at the moment. So let's. Yep. Yep. Okay, guys. This is the last. I'm going to show you this again. So, after playing for maybe about 20 minutes or so. I can definitely see my hands start moving around. So when I put it face up like this, look, it's going crazy. Now I just lost my uh, my right hand. Uh, that's crazy. So it doesn't like it when you do face up on the right side. Let me face if I if I face the camera directly. It kind of helps a little bit when you face the camera directly. Okay. So yep, you see that. Now my hand, for some reason, flies straight to the camera. Yeah, tracking becomes very bad right now with this. Uh, with this, so we're gonna stop this right here, and we're gonna put in the three, the third sensor in, and then we'll see if there's any changes. Be right back. Okay, we are back with the um, third sensor hooked up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start playing game a little bit more, and then about we're gonna do about another maybe one or two um, practice round, and uh, we'll see how it works, and I'll let you guys know. So so far so good no tracking issues yet or if there is going to be any we'll see Okay guys, I just did the first um, practice round and so far no issues yet. So we're going to run for another practice round just so that we have enough time in the game to see if we can trigger any problem. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, after playing the um, Unspoken, which is the game that tends to be the gives the most trouble with tracking, uh, I have to say with the third sensor, it does makes a, a, a huge difference with the uh, the arm, uh, the, the right hand not falling to proper place. It, the, is it perfect? No, of course not. Is there still just a minor uh, lag? I would say when you move some sometime. And, and sometimes when you have your hand too close to your body, it does uh, have a little trouble. But most of the time, I'll say 95, more than 95% of the time, your tracking is right on with three sensors. Now, with Oculus, um, if you if you just play straight up Oculus games itself, then uh, you should just have two sensors set up in the front. Because I think that's what it provides the best tracking for you. 
but if you also want to play you know oculus game and steam game which some of them have uh, mo uh you know some has required to move around turn around which is fine then if you only have two sensors then you know go ahead and do the two corner setup you will run into hiccups once in a while um in, in certain games i would say especially unspoken for some reason it tends to be a lot worse in unspoken with the um the two corner setup now when you have three sensors set up where i have two in the front and one in the back it takes care of the issues my hand is not like you know wanting to fly around like you know massively is it perfect right now you can see it's kind of jerking a little bit here and there too it's not perfect but at least it stays with me not you know doing this and when i you know when i hold a hammer i trying to hit it's like you know my hammer is like way up here and my hands like way down here in real life already i mean it, it doesn't add up so that's why I haven't played Unspoken as much as I should have. It's a great game. The graphics is awesome, but it could also be that the software itself needs a little bit of uh, improvement. And um, if when um, Oculus rolls out the uh, updates for the uh, tracking, hopefully that will fix all this issue. And even if, if they can make it so that there's no problem with tracking with just two sensors, that'd be fantastic. Because I think the majority of us have the two sensors set up and uh, some will have three um but if you have to spare you know 79 dollars for the third sensor go for it it does make a huge difference in uh, playing uh quality so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day peace out